There's two reasons you're not getting the sales you want to be getting online. Hi, I'm Bethan Davis and I work with mums in business to help them take the business up to a level where they're able to get more freedom and flexibility from it so they can spend their precious time doing the things they love doing with their families. But before I go any further, if that sounds like you, then do give my channel a subscribe because I've got lots and lots of tools, tips, training and advice for you. So give me a subscribe not to miss out. So if you are struggling to get sales online, you're not getting the sales that you want to be getting, maybe you're not getting any sales at all. If that's the case, there's two things that you're doing wrong, okay? So the first thing is visibility. You need to be visible in order for people to see you. It's quite obvious, isn't it, really? If we're not being seen, then how can people buy from you? So this is the, the one of the biggest problems people have, business owners have, is that they're not being visible. So you need to be showing up consistently every day, every single day you need to be showing up and you need to be providing and just showing off all your amazing stuff that you do every single day where some people go wrong with visibility. They, some, you might be thinking right now, well, I am visible. I post on social media nearly every single day. I post, 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 but nothing's coming from it. That isn't good enough. You need to be visible in a way that is interesting. There's no good just putting sales post after sales post after sales. No one wants that. People want to be interested. So this leads me on to the second point and they just merge into one really. The second point is that you need to build the know, like, and trust. People buy from people that they know, like, and trust. So that's your two points. The one, you need to be visible, but two, you need to be visible in the right way. So you take it, for example. I'm going to go into an example right now. So here's my example. There's two candles being sold online. One is a Yankee candle and one is from someone you've never ever heard of. You don't know them from Adam. Who are you going to go for? You're going to go for the Yankee candle because they're a well-known brand. They, their brand awareness is like everyone knows Yankee candle. You're not going to go for the, the person that you've got no idea of. But that person that you've got no idea of, if that person was someone that you knew well, it was one of your friends that had set up this online business selling candles, then you know her. You know that what she's going to be selling is going to be good stuff. It's going to be nice, strong, nice scented candles. So it's like you're going to trust her to buy that. So then you're going to go with her over Yankee Candle because you, you know her, you like her, you've got a relationship with her. Whereas Yankee Candle is just a brand. You don't know that person selling that candle. Be thinking what the hell are you bumbling on about candles for Beth but there is a whole method to my madness the important thing is that you get visible by growing that know like and trust factor with your audience you've got to build relationships you've got to build this trust because let's face it there's so many other people out there who's probably selling what you're selling so in order for you to get that person to buy that from you instead of from someone else is by building the relationship so you get that know like and trust factor so when it comes to posting online whether it's on instagram facebook whether it's doing videos on youtube whatever it is that you're doing make sure that it's a mixture of, of good interesting things not just sales boring sales posts so you need to just put some stuff out there that's a bit more about you. Put your face out there so they can get to know you. Do some lives. Oh, I know the dreaded lives. But by going live and letting your audience see your face and you're talking, they get to know you so much quicker. So you're building that know, like, and trust so much quicker by going live and speaking to them so they can see you. This is the best way. Show them pictures of your daily life if you can. I know not everyone likes to post pictures of their children, but if you're following me over on Instagram, you've probably got, you know, me popping up in your stories all the time showing 
pointless things really about Aria just learned to say a new word or whatever it is. But people find it interesting and people get to know me from that because then they get to see what a day looks like in my life. And this is what builds relationships. And that is what converts sales. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. So you need to get visible, but you need to build a know, like, and trust. So get visible in the right way, not just by posting every day. That's not good enough. So if you found this quite useful, I do have a freebie downloadable guide that just goes into this in more depth. So I'm going to ask you to do two things now before I say goodbye. And the first one is subscribe to the channel. And the second one is go to the banner at the top of my channel and go to the freebies page where you can download my freebie guide, easy ways to get visible on social media. This goes like hotcakes. Is that a saying? Is that even a saying? It's, it goes really well. It's a good freebie download. And yeah, just go and grab it. It's free.